All right, guys, Freddy Fabricate here again. And today I got a cool one. Picked this up on Marketplace for 200 bucks. Uh, it hasn't run in a while. Um, I believe it's a 60s-ish uh, home light Spitfire go-kart. Um, everything looks to be original. The frame had cracked in half at one point in time. They kind of put like an angle iron brace. Some of the worst welds I've ever seen in my life. Um, some decent brazing on this brake rod here. <laughs> I guess that snapped in half as well. Uh, I don't think that's the original steering wheel plastic. I have to do some research though. Um, the gas tank is leaking and they put two uh, Tecumseh four horsepower engines on the back. Uh, they're pretty old in their own right. Um, they got centrifugal clutches and a live axle. I think that's the original setup though. Um, this front engine here from what the guy was telling me it leaks oil onto the point so i guess the uh, rear main seal if you want to call it that um is leaking a little bit so we're not going to run that one today i actually don't even have a spark plug for it um this one does run so i'm going to crank this i'm going to pull start it right now see if i could get it running and try to take it for a little spin before i start working on it uh brakes seem to work the foot throttle works the tires are in decent shape i think they're original uh, i'm going to be switching out the rears for the same knobby, uh, the same knobbies, those snowblower knobbies I put on the um, on the TRX 50. I love those things. They got great cleats on them, and they're a very hard compound, um, so they wear really well. And then the front, I'll just put some little four-inch uh, dirt tire, whatever I can find. All right, we'll see how it goes. All right, it sounds pretty good. Uh, the only negative is. Just killed myself. So Derek, what do you think of your new go-kart? It's good. Yeah, what do you like the most about it? Hey, a chipmunk just ran under the cart, man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that steering? Nice and easy? Yeah. Oh man, it's not even connected. All right, how are we gonna fix this, bud? Any ideas? Are you gonna tape it? Tape it on? Are you gonna glue it? Glue it on? I think so. We're going to have to weld it. All right, let's bring it in the shop. We'll take that bolt off, and we'll see if we can weld it back together. Bye, guys. All right, Derek. What do you think we need to take this nut and bolt out? A wrench and a plier. All right, let's go get it. We'll be right back. All right, let it rip, buddy. Keep going, man. Let me see those muscles. A little bit more. Almost off. Almost got it. All right. Good job, pal. <laughs> All right, guys. So we pulled the bolt out, the nut and bolt. Right, buddy? Came right out. But what happened? We couldn't get the piece out on the inside. So we found this little piece of steel. Kind of gave it a couple welds on the inside there. And I'm going to try to grab it with, you know what this is called, buddy? A big wrench? A slide hammer. We're going to put this on like this. You're going to hold the steering wheel, and I'm going to yank on the slide hammer. We'll see if we can pull it out. What do you think? Sure. All right. All right, guys. So, looks like they did some uh, finagling here. We got... One bushing inside another, kind of brazed on. None of it really fit. Um, so great. So Derek and I are probably going to make up a new bushing for this and weld it on to the other piece. All right, so Derek, how many years have you been welding now? Oh, zero years? Okay. How many days? Zero? Months? Minutes? Seconds. All right. So we got a newbie here, ladies and gentlemen. What do you feel about this welding operation we're about to do? How's your confidence scared. level? A little scared? Scared a little bit. 
exciting. A little exciting, right? So I was your age when my daddy taught me how to weld. All right, so I'm going to walk you through what we're going to do. we got to make up a piece of steel first, and then we have to weld it to the shaft in the go-kart. So we have to go take apart the go-kart shaft, bring it back on the bench, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys? Bye. All right, guys, this is the setup we came up with. We found a piece of bar stock, the same diameter as the steering shaft. Yeah. I V'd them both to a taper, and we put two C-clamps, and I just put little V-blocks in the back of the angle iron there to hold it straight. All right, guys, we got our shaft welded and ground down. It's pretty straight, at least good enough for this application. Probably end up cutting it off around here. Now we need to find a piece of steel that's going to fit in this steering wheel. Derek, you want to show them what we came up with? Yes. Yeah, what is that? Oh, my God. A punching hammer. Yeah, that looks like it. All right, let's see. Whoa, man, is that perfect. All right, so we're just going to cut it off. We're going to put it in the lathe, drill it to the diameter of the small shaft, and then we have to drill it, and we're going to pin it. Got it? Yeah. 